me and I think I can see you. Let me jump on the phone here and make sure that I can see all of you guys here. And let me go here. And let me go here and make sure that we're all ready to go. So I'm coming to you from the road as we discussed a little bit earlier. Um, I am at my parents' house here in Fresno. And look, my mom's sitting right next to me. And as she said, how you doing, Mom, one more time? <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. Yes. I'm fine. I'm good. Great. 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 Yes, thank you. This is our third time, so she's been, uh, we've been chatting. We've been doing our pattern. This is our third time, so third time's a charm. So many uh, good wishes and prayers and concerns about me and about my foot, so uh, it's great. It really is family. I felt the, yeah. fam, the bee family The bee around, family so coming. I'd like yeah. to say thank you to oh. everybody, and I'm getting better. You yep. are. Yep. You are. You're getting be better and better and better. And uh, soon, run back to the fabric store like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> there's a big deficit at Joanne's, I think. But let me make sure the volume is down and I can see you guys. Okay, great. So I can see you guys. We are going to uh, just press on through. Okay, so um, I've adjusted all of the streaming rates and everything so we'll just see if um we'll just go for this okay and then i will uh able to download this needlepedia and i'll show you guys what i've got here in front of me um here's my glasses oh thanks you guys like my earrings i actually stole these from my mom's earring um caddy these are earrings that i made her a while back and i'm all mock and i wear your earrings I love those. Those are my yeah favorite. those are good ones i made these a long time ago and i might have forgotten to bring some jewelry um along with the rest of the clothes that were in our other car but whatever it was fun <laughs> so i just need i just need a black t-shirt and i'm happy um all righty so you guys what we've got here Uh, magnum opus here with her latest writings on this needlepedia and I'm going to turn this around here I'm going to turn this ship around everybody's saying hello to you ma everyone's saying they're glad that you're feeling good all that good stuff so we are happy that you are on the mend look you needs going on here all righty there we go I know my bride with my mom are always epic. There are a few on the web that you can find if you go, if you if you search it out. We're funny. We're like an on-the-road movie. Yes. <laughs> right? Who's Dorothy Lamar? We're both Yeah, so Jackson can be be Bing Crosby, maybe, and we'll both be Dorothy Lamar. I don't know. I don't know. Who are you all? What are you doing here? Um, so the um, Needlepedia, you guys, is an amazing resource that Janice has just finished, and it's been a long time coming. If you um, have jumped over to be our learning tab. The learning tab, we have uh, one of our classic pieces of learning is our stitchinary, all right? And stitchinary is a great resource for talking about all the different threads and stuff we have, as well as if you go to our tricks to laddering, that's the next thing on Janice's list that I tossed over to her. Our tricks to laddering handout has an an awful lot also about the beads and threads and stuff like that. So um, stitchinary plus um, uh, plus the tricks to laddering handout plus uh, you guys um, it's those three together are a great trifecta. 
Now, Jen has spent some time, and I'm gonna go over this. I'm gonna lift the camera actually just a little bit here. Um, here we go, I'm gonna pull this back up so we can see this a little bit more. Um, we have, um, you can uh, also, when you um, go over to beadshop.com, you can see our, um, under our learning tab, you'll find all of this, all of this great um, help to you guys. Drea and I also have another document that's coming up that we're working on. Um, we're working on a document for um, all of our knots as well. And so I think we might call it a knot. I, we're not going to be doing, thank you very much. We could go on all day. Where's my martini? <laughs> Didn't you used to have a pool boy here? <laughs> we, we don't have a pool anymore, do we? We no, don't have a pool anymore. No, no. Oh, well. Huh? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? The kids grew up, moved away. Moved away. No more pool. What are you going to do? We can get a little... The neighbors have a pool. We'll go make friends. Um, okay. So the Needlepedia, you guys, is really fantastic. Um, have downloaded it already in PDF form. Now the PDF is really fantastic because the um, PDF you can download, save to your whatever your mobile device or your um, like your iPad. You can save it to your iBooks or for your Kindle um, and you can read it just like a book. So it's really super super helpful. All right. So um, yeah, and just hang in there. If the feed goes out, the feed will uh, jump back up. I'm not going to stop the stream because it'll keep recording. So thanks for hanging in there. I'm sorry that the the internet isn't quite as as robust here, but that's we're just doing our best here. So I want to start here with the Needlepedia, and Janice talks a little bit about some basics, right? Some needle basics, um, some really important things that I want to go. Over. needles all right and so um, and so our needles uh, and our you kind of have to match your thread your needle and the bead that you're using okay so Janice has here bead holes matter when it comes to your needle select a random sampling of beads to make sure the holes are consistent and that the needle will fit through them all don't check only one bead super important so like you guys remember I'm gonna um, put it right here. You guys remember the piece that I was working on this Wednesday. It's coming along, kids, right? The tassel's coming along. The thing is when you're using your needle, I used the fine weight Ceylon and I did check all of the beads that I was going to use in this project on this stringing material. So, you know, especially when you have a variety, beads that have really large holes, beads that have really small holes, it's best to come in and, um, and on your needles, okay? So that's super important. And then Janice's next, um, next, word of wisdom here. When using a needle, your thread will be doubled unless you're using Griffin thread on a card. So test that your needle and thread will fit through the bead holes together. This is also a big question we get when you guys are doing our poetry project, right? You some and use the collapsible eye needle that has this little twist at the top rather than the flexible eye needle, which is smaller and flexes down. So these two, even though they're wire needles, aren't necessarily interchangeable. Okay. Uh, next, have needle choices on hand so that um, you have a variety to test with. So you're not stopped. Like if you're using one and you think, oh, this is working and it's not, you can go right over to your twisted wire needle instead, so it doesn't stop you from doing your project. Okay. Um, store your needles carefully away from children, pets, and bare feet. 
And then finally, we carry at beadshop.com a variety of stringing materials, but not everything, right? Ceylon, it's similar to Superlon or Eslon. Nymo and Ko and Hana threads, those are similar. And again, Janice says, check out the Stitchinary for more on stringing materials. So we have two types of needles that we're calling uh, that we're calling the needles here at Bead Shop. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna kind of come in a little bit tighter. Sorry, I should adjust with my left hand so you don't see my arm there. So we have eye opening needles, and what she says is needles that have an adjustable eye, um, and they open doors. The big eye beading needle, okay? Um, the big eye I use all the time, right? And I'm going to open these guys up. The big eye needle, if you don't have a big eye needle, okay, put a package in your. Carry the variety pack. Now there's slid out. Use them for her West County cuff and look at, looky, see how when I open it up, see it has literally an eye that's the length of the needle. So if you're doing a whole bunch of strands and you're stringing through, even something like this, all right, they're really, really super helpful. Okay, so these, uh, so the big eye, if you don't have them, I suggest grabbing them for your needle arsenal. Now the other kind of category, I guess, that we, that we say are needles, and that's pretty much everything else. Now my mom knows these sharps since you're a quilter, right mama? Right. Quilting, I use them for hand sewing all the time. But I also like having these when I want a short, rigid needle when I'm stitching. Like if I'm doing infinity stitch, like the Kate's favorite here, I'll use this Sharps because it's a short, sturdy needle. And I'll be honest, I'm a little hard on my needles, right? So rigid needles, Sharps, the tapestry needles, the glovers called beading needles, the size 10 and size 12. And of course, the jewel loom needles like this. And the jewel looms are long. One thing I wanted to mention about the jewel loom needles, I love them and they're great for loom work, right? For bead weaving when you're doing bead weaving. But um, they do, um, in your hand, people have a tendency to bend your needle as you go along. And these um, English beading needles are pretty springy. Right, and so they'll bend like bend to them. So if you're trying to bend it, if you hold your needle like I do sometimes, and my thumb presses on it, it's easily snappable, if that makes sense. So be careful not to snap these jewel loom needles. But these guys, the tens and the twelves, why they're called beading needles is that the eye of this needle is the same, what do I want to say? It, it's the, it has the same profile, I guess, as the rest of the needle, right? On a sewing needle, when you're sewing, a lot of times a sewing needle, the eye is flared out just slightly. So if you use a sewing needle for beading, you're putting your beads on, especially like size 11 beads, they go on your needle and they stop right here at the eye. But a beading needle, the needle is all the same width, going all the way down, and then it tapers to the end. And you can see, it's pretty. Beading needles are pretty pliable, like this, right? You don't want to. Um, I don't know. You don't want to snap things, right? So you don't want to put too much pressure on it. But I know a lot of people do like how pliant these beading needles are. Okay, so. The beading needles, I'm going to put this here because I don't want it to fall on the floor and have Jaxie step on it. That would be terrible. 
So I'm going to put those away. So our beading needles in size 10 and size 12, and these guys, and the jewel loom needles, these are, and you can see, and Janice, and you can spend some quality time with her document here, right? And what Janice talks about, let me get this into frame so you guys can see it. Janice talks about each of the needles. You can see it goes through each of the needles like this. And we talk about the needle itself, kind of a little bit of copy. It's are like this flexible eye needle. The eye measures 1.7 millimeters when open and 0.2 to 0.5. sell them here in quantity. Then of course Janice did some fun little editorial comments here um, that are um, uh, the, the HANA thread works with it, fine weight Ceylon, and then the Chinese knotting cord. So you can really drill down into each of these needles and see what works for them. Okay. So yep. can, I, can I say Yes, something? what's your question, Gwenny? Okay, well you know, has anybody's ever had that feeling when you're uh, doing a beading project and you only have one needle? Yes. There's all this tension in your body because you're really, really worried <laughs> that you're going to lose that one needle. Gonna happen yeah. To your needle. Yeah. And it, I got to tell you, having a couple of spare needles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it helps the zen of beading a whole heck of a lot. It really does. You know, it's funny. <laughs> Up because I do a lot of my projects at you'll talk about. Yes, I'm going to show you guys at the very end. I'm going to show you how to make a needle out of this. And Teresa, I promise to get to your tough cord question. Um, I've got some cords over here. Quick, the tens, the twelves, these glovers. Now, a glover's needle. I know that some of you use these for stitching and sewing as well. The glovers. If you take a look at, I think it's our gypsy leather project, our gypsy bracelet project, where we stitch in and out of the leather and stuff like that. Um, the um, the glover is. Uh, has been cut through it's like a little sword like a little it's hard to see on this but it's like a little triangle at the end of the um of the needle so it kind of almost makes a cut in the fabric as it goes through and which is why we use it for leather embellishing leather stuff like that and then it has the needle eye it's a little more of a generous eye here on this so these are two specialty needles um that we love they're here the glovers and then here is the tapestry needle, and Emily brought the tapestry needle to us, um, and she uses them for her um, bead crochet project, I guess. And the tapestry needle has a longer eye to it and a little bit of a blunt end. And I'll be honest, sometimes I stitch also, I infinity stitch. In larger ones, like if you do darning or, I don't know, sewing your knitting or something together, that's what you'd use a larger tapestry needle for. And I think it, um, you not don't have to worry quite so much about cutting your thread or uh, going through your... Right, splitting, splitting your threads. Your yeah, exactly, because the head... So, so it all right? I yeah. don't know, might be Great. time for yet another pain pill. Yeah, yet another pain pill. Sounds good to me. Let's pass them around. Um, just kidding. No, I haven't um, taken any today. No, I know. You're doing so well. They sprung her out of rehab so quickly that she... Because I uh, hard You did. I wanted to come you, used, yeah. you learned how to use the knee scooter and the... the transferring everywhere and yeah it's good countdown countdowns on soon you're going to be walking around um 
let me address the threads really quickly and then um, we'll do that needle and then we'll we'll sign off and I'll let you guys get to studying the needlepedia. Um, we talked again we talked about uh, the CKC or the Chinese knotting cord as I like to say here right here. These guys really again work well. Uh oh, I'm missing. And we lost. We'll uh oh, find we'll it. find it. <laughs> like, oh God, we're missing one. But the big eye needle here, the big eye, uh, is super handy for things like cords. When you have to pass cords, sorry, I'm a little bit off, out of the at the bill really, really easily. The thing. Um, that I do want to tell you is that this, if you put too much force on it, like if you're shoving a whole bunch of cords through something and you're shoving it through a big whole bead and maybe you're using like, um, like your pliers or something to pull it through, you can split. The needle can break I at this end. That, I noticed it. Yeah. It looks even like at both ends. It's kind of, yeah, it's kind the of same way. Yeah. It's kind of, well it's kind of yeah, soldered, soldered together. together. So it's very easy. It's not I don't want to say it's very easy, but if yeah, you, either. yeah, if you exert too much pressure on these ends like this, the needle will split. All right. So, I mean, it will um, last forever, right? So, um, you just have to, uh, it's, it's a renewable resource for, or a consumable, as Emily likes to call them. So, let me just really quickly talk to you about this, since Teresa had the question about tough cord. I just got back from the store. We're going to make ice cream later. It's going to be awesome. Uh, this is the regular Ceylon. So I'm going to put that on the thick end. Here is the fine Ceylon, which goes here. There it is. And then we've got Tough Cord. And the Tough Cord 3, let me open it up. This is the Tough Cord in gold. It comes right in between. Of course, it's brown like the table. It's kind of hard to see. Comes right in between regular Ceylon. Oh, I could, yeah, good idea. Turn that over a little bit easier. Good, good job, Quinn. The fine seal or the regular Ceylon tough cord number three. Three, then fine. Let me open tough two. Here's tough cord two. In between the fine and the micro. Okay. Of the micro Ceylon. So it kind of goes back and forth. So you can really find a um, thread that's going to fit exactly what you need. All right, they're very similar. The hand is a little bit different. Sometimes I think the tough cord is maybe just slightly more wiry than the um, Ceylon, um, but they both work beautifully and they, uh, you can interchange them in your projects completely. So that's that. Last thing I wanna share with you guys is um, I wanna show you how to make your own needle. I showed you this um, a little woven seed bead rings with this wire. <laughs> do you remember that? I don't know if anyone else remembers that. I do. Remember I, that yeah, well. yeah. So those little, uh, so it has, you may remember this if you're a beater from maybe did some little weaving with, uh, with this. So um, so it's kind of fun. So you can see this is skinny gauge wire. It is 34 gauge and it'll come right off your spool if you don't tame it. So kind of make sure to, you're the boss of this wire, right? So I'm going to wrap it around, wrap it around and try and make sure that it doesn't all become one big bird's nest. There we go. Nope, not quite. There we go. And I've Um, or a flexible uh, eye needle for this. And I've cut maybe, I don't know, about six inches or so. I don't know, I just lopped off. 
I know it's kind of hard to see because it's such thin wire. But all I do is I come in and I just hold my two strands here between the index finger and my thumb of my dominant hand. And of my non-dominant hand, I get my index finger and I put it in the loop. And I just circle that finger. And I keep the... Um, And grab pliers but I can just do this with my hand so see how I'm twisting let me do it slow motion see I just kind of point down to the ground then point up towards the sky and down towards the ground and up towards the sky all right and this wire we have it in um, at bead shop you just go right to beadshop.com I think it's even on the front page if they're tired switch hands and continue to twist now I'm twisting it in my dominant hand with my dominant finger of my right hand, okay? And so you wanna keep that tension. I'm gonna get it really close to the camera. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's twisted now, twisted together. And sometimes the twist is a little more twisty in the middle. Okay, and that's it. Don't twist so much that this wire never comes off your finger, right? As long as the loop, right, it's a permanent accessory. As long as the loop, look at how nice and big that loop is on that needle. There we go, it's a little bit easier to see like that. Then I would get my wire cutters and I just clip the end right there. That's it, okay? So, and that eye will fit anything. I still have, I have wax linen, Irish wax linen here. Not that you really use a needle with Irish wax linen that often but you can just put it right through and then you're ready to go, okay? So super easy, really a handy thing to uh, have in your jewelry arsenal, your beading arsenal. Um, as I, so if you're just joining us, just a quick reminder, we are going over, we went over the Needlepedia, which was that wonderful document that we just dropped over on beadshop.com. You can find it, it's linked on the homepage, right now. Um, it won't be forever, but it's linked there. You can also go to our website, and if you go to beadshop.com and you go to the home page and you look on the top bar up there, you will see um, a tab that says learning. Click on skill building. in that number one position right now. It'll just jump right up and you just click on it and it'll take you directly to the PDF and then you just download it. And hopefully you will find a lot of great information in it. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna download it. I'm gonna print it out and put in my um, bead shop binder. In your binder, that's right. I know so many of you all have a binder. All kinds of good stuff, in, of good stuff in there. And the cool thing about when you have this on your um, iPad or on your it's hyperlinked so you can just oh, yeah. all of these things are all hyperlinked so you can just tap on it and you can go over there um, so, yeah, and see it yeah Hi mm -hmm. well, it's hyperlink hyperlink it's a hyperlink directly to our website so I click on it and you it, tap on it it takes you right to beadshop.com you know what a hyperlink is <laughs> everybody knows what a hyperlink well no, that's what no, it is no, not no, everybody no, no. okay well, it'll take you right to, like if you want to see string materials, obviously this is a piece of paper. can't hyperlink a piece of paper, but you just tap on it and it'll take you over there. Okay? So, if you have any questions, you guys, <coughs> you can always reach us at info at beadshop.com. Um, if there's a specific question for Janice, you can also um, uh, email Janice right at Janice at beadshop.com. I know she'd love to hear from you. You can always email me directly at Kate at beadshop.com. You can't email my mom because she doesn't have a beadshop.com email address, at least yet. All right, I'm going to turn this around so we can say goodbye. Okay, so turn I'll, this. Rem I'll reminisce a little bit. Oh gosh, um, oh no, I better no, turn no, this no, around no, quickly. No, 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 I'm not, just kidding. It's not a bad thing. Okay, it isn't? <laughs> Thank goodness. No, I do. <laughs> there we okay. go. No, when I, uh, you know, I'm a hardcore beater. Right. 
I dabble, but I'm not mm -hmm. a hardcore beater. But uh, so it was Naimo, 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 I, old school. Yeah, yeah. old school. Mm -hmm. And uh, I could never get Naimo uh, threaded, and then my Naimo would break. Mm -hmm. and so then they finally they came out with that uh, that wire with the cable with the. Um, the soft flex. Soft flex, mm -hmm. yeah. And mm -hmm. so I discovered the soft flex. So then, like, everything I made, as I made with soft flex, mm -hmm. soft flex, <laughs> well, soft flex doesn't it's lend different. it to everything. No, it doesn't it lend itself <laughs> to everything. And but I love it. I love working with the soft flex. I do. But now with this Needlepedia. You have so much stuff. Yeah, you've got so many options. And, and I've learned how to thread needles, mm -hmm. how to you needle have. the thread. To needle the thread, I've all of that. To needle the thread yes, and all that. And it's really, um, you know, change the changes the drape. But just if you get the right thread on your uh, project, uh, yeah. it's really it's, yeah, it's, it's a what game you changer. Have to do. That's right. And and to know kind of what you're doing, to know which needles to use, mm -hmm. and there are so many options now and everything. It's really. You don't need to thread. You don't need we don't to need. Use, you don't, don't need to use dental floss anymore, Quinn. Like yeah, I used you know, to when I was little. Don't need that. Right. And everything doesn't need to go with the soft flex. No. We Although I, actually, I still love I do soft love it. Flex. I do. Yeah. But anyway. But so that download works. your Needlepedia. Go grab your stitchinary. Um, go have fun this weekend. And <laughs> that's it, I think. That's it. I guess yeah. we're going to start making ice cream. Yeah, we're going to make ice cream. My fresh, sister's coming. Fresh peach. Yeah, it's peach. good. My dad just got fresh peaches, so we're all good. So, you guys, thank you so much for joining us. I know it was a little, um, it was a little uh, touch and go with the stream, but I thank you so much for hanging in there with us. Everyone's thinking, Ma, that you are so um, nice. Someone says, glad to see Mom doing well. And someone says, be honest, who else wants to hug Kate's mom? That's so nice. Oh, that's so nice. That is so nice. So yeah, nice. I'm a little old lady with a dog. With a dog. 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 <laughs> She's so not a little old lady with a dog. She's so funny. No, everyone's saying, everyone is really, really, really glad to see you. So, no, I, I give you. I give you. And so, like, who her. is that guy? Bob, Bob, Bob Barker. Go rescue some pets. Oh, right, that's right. That's I, I know right. we have. I <laughs> we we see all these people. So many rescues. So many. Yeah, so many. Was, re seriously, I know you ladies this is and a cause gentlemen out there, near and dear to my mom's heart. So so <laughs> wonderful about rescuing these uh, poor guys. Yeah. And uh, yeah. comedy hour we're gonna go i will see you guys next wednesday for free project that uses the monthly mix that i made called sea star i'm going to teach you how to do a wrap on a loom and you're going to from that looming you're going to learn how to taper at an end the ends mc hammer good. mc hammer wrap, wrap oh my god i gotta go Things are wheels are falling off the cart. All right, you guys. Thank you so much. Thanks, Ma. Thank you. Thank you. Love you. I love you too. All right. I love you.